Let's lock Snapchat on your iPhone. Now, if you don't want anyone else to open up your Snapchat app to see your messages, any of your stories, any of that stuff, you can always password protect it and I'll show you how to do it. The first thing that we'll do is open up the Shortcuts app on your phone. If you don't already have this, just go to the App Store and download. It's an Apple basically default app on your phone. Now that we've done that, we'll tap on Automation at the bottom center. And then we'll hit create personal automation. And on here, we will find app towards the bottom. There it is. And right next to where it says app, we will tap on choose. Now what we're gonna do is obviously just go down and find that Snapchat app here. There it is and tap on it and hit done. Now you're good with this. Let's hit next at the top right. And now we want to add an action after basically that Snapchat app is opened. We want to add a timer. So hit add action and we'll search at the very top for timer. And hit start timer. Now we want to start the timer for one and tap on minutes and switch it to seconds. So we want to have that timer run for one second and then hit next at the top right. And we will toggle off ask before running. We don't necessarily need that and hit done. Now that we've done that, basically we've set everything. So as soon as you open up Snapchat, it'll run the timer for one second, but we need to tell it what to do after that. So let's go into your clock and we'll tap on timer at the bottom, right? And it says when timer ends, what should we do? Let's tap on stop playing and hit set. Now that we've done that, we're ready to go. We're ready to test this out. So as soon as I open up the Snapchat app, it will go back to the lock screen and it will require me to either enter in the password for my phone or to unlock it with my face ID. So let's open up Snapchat. You can see for one second it appears and then basically goes back to that lock screen. So I'll do that again. Let's close out of Snapchat, open it up. And as soon as I do that, it goes back to that lock screen and basically anybody will have to enter in their password for your phone or use the face ID to be able to get into that Snapchat app and do anything. I hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.